Today, we're gonna look at two thermoform paddles from Body Helix called the X3 Lite and the X3 Pro. I've actually checked out Body Helix's first thermoformed elongated paddle called the X1, which is really, really great. But these two paddles right here, they are very, very different. And I would say they're in a league of their own. And so first we're gonna start with the X3 Lite. I would say this version, the X3 Lite, is the version of the X3 that is suited for most players. This thing is a great, great paddle. But if you're only interested in the X3 Pro, which is a power monster that I would say is best suited for advanced players, feel free to jump ahead in the video. I'll talk about that one a little later on. But let's get right into the X3 Lite. Here are its specs. The face is a woven blend of Kevlar and raw Torre carbon. The shape is elongated with an arrow curve. It's thermoformed unibody with 360 degree foam injection. It's a 16 millimeter core and it's the typical single core large cell polypropylene honeycomb. The length is 16.5 inches. The width is 7.5 inches. The handle length is a whopping six inches and the grip circumference is 4.25 inches. The weight is eight ounces and the price is $144 after a 10% discount using promo code Matthew K. Okay, let's cut to the chase. If you've ever played with another Thermoform paddle, picking up the X3 Lite will just be a massive joy. This thing is a ton of fun. That six inch handle is still a very unique feature. The arrow curve, this shape, this thing just whips through the air. It is constructed so well, it just feels super, super sturdy. Like this is a great, great paddle. And the real standout feature of the X3 is its surface. That blend of Kevlar and carbon fiber is really, really popular right now, ever since Pickleball Apes and then Six Zeros Ruby, as well as Mark Pickleball sort of brought that to the forefront. It is just a really desirable face. And the X2 from Body Helix, which I haven't gotten to play with, is actually the same paddle with a more traditional carbon fiber face. And my understanding is the X3 with this blend has a little bit more of a plush feel. And to be honest, that is welcome because this paddle packs a punch. So having that little bit added control with the surface is very, very nice. And Body Helix also includes some really nice accessories. They've got a really good paddle cover. You get a nice overgrip, also a paddle refresher eraser in this cool little box, but it also includes some lead-free tuning tape. This is silicon base, and this stuff is awesome. I I hope this goes mainstream. Like this is really nice. You don't have to deal with the toxic lead stuff. And it's really great that Body Helix is, includes all that in the box. So you're ready to hit the courts once you get your paddle. Aside from the really unique face that the X3 has, I appreciate that Body Helix went with a gray edge guard. It looks really, really great. And I wish more paddle companies would venture out of black. There are other colors than black. So let's see some other edge guards, please. Unfortunately, the edge tape that Body Helix has is black. And so it's covering up the really cool gray. I actually love this edge tape. It's really similar to Pickle Skin's edge tape, but it doesn't have the dimples and it's really easy to put on. You can really get rid of all the bubbles when you're adhering it. And it can take way more scrapes on the ground than electrical tape. Like I love this tape. I only wish it came in gray and matched the edge guard. So Body Helix, um, I hope you'll consider adding some gray tape and some edge tape that matches your really great edge guards. So give that a thought, please. And to cut to the chase, the X3 Lite is just a great, great thermoform paddle. Like I love how it plays. This thing hits like a cannon, but that Kevlar blend face adds some real nuance and some great touch and feel. Like this is a really, really great paddle. And so it's really the best of both worlds. It's got the power, the touch, the feel. It is just really, really solid. And don't forget, it's got that six inch handle that's perfect for the two-hander. As for price, I think $144 after that 10% discount using promo code Matthew K is super reasonable. That's way cheaper than a Gearbox Pro, and it's right about where Legacy is pricing their paddles, so I think it's super, super competitive. And now, let's move to the X3 Pro. This thing already has some buzz amongst paddle junkies, and I have to say, it lives up to the hype. So let's get right into it. Earlier, I said the X3 Lite hits like a cannon. Well, that means the X3 Pro hits like a freaking rocket launcher. This thing has some power. 
and it actually takes some real finesse to control, but we'll get into that a little later. First, let's just talk specs. This has the same woven blend of Kevlar and raw Torre carbon as the X3 Lite. It's also elongated with aero curve. It's thermoform unibody with the 360 degree foam injection, but its core is different. It's an 18 millimeter core with what they're describing as a triple core with small cell polypropylene honeycomb with air mid fibers. The length is 16.5 inches. The width is 7.5 inches. The handle is six inches, perfect for the two handers. And it has a 4.25 inch circumference grip. And its weight is a hefty 8.8 .8 ounces. It has the same accessories as the X3 Lite, a great paddle cover, an extra overgrip, a paddle refresher eraser and a cool box, as well as that lead-free tuning tape that's made out of silicone. This stuff is awesome. Finally, the X3 Pro is $162 after using promo code MATTHEWK for that 10% discount. Okay, the X3 Pro has all the same great features as the X3 Lite. It's got that cool gray edge guard. It's got that awesome surface. It's thermoform unibody. It's got foam injected along the entire perimeter. It's, it's got it all plus that six inch handle. However, the Pro is constructed differently. It's got that 18 millimeter core buildup and it comes at that heavier stock weight. And actually Body Helix only recommends it for 5.0 players and up. We'll talk more about that, but it is definitely not for everyone. This is a hefty paddle. And I don't really agree with Body Helix of limiting this paddle to 5.0 players and up. Like, I don't think you need to be winning all your local tournaments to be able to get a handle of this paddle. There's definitely a learning curve, but I think it's very manageable. However, if you haven't played with the Thermoform paddle, I don't think this is the one to start with. I would look at a more traditional Thermoform paddle. I would look at the X1 or even the X3 Lite, but this is definitely for more advanced players. And to speak to that, the X3 Pro has a very unique touch and feel, and it starts with that small cell polypropylene core that that it just hits different the only other paddle i've played with that uses that kind of core is spartus's ballista v2 and that is a super control oriented paddle and by the nature of that small cell core there's just more material involved there are more cells and that just creates more weight it's heavier it's denser and that's actually why spartus made the ballista v2 edgeless and had that throat hole they had to compensate for that heavier core, they had to find places to take weight away. And that's why that paddle's like that because they wanted it to be closer to the eight ounces that we're used to. But Body Helix went the other way. They made it heavier. They added the aramid fibers and they're just targeting players that like heavier paddles. Players that probably add lead weight right out of the box. And this core just feels different. These small cells, these just hit different than the large cells in most paddles, what we're used to. The touch and feel is just different. Like I feel the ball just doesn't sit on the paddle quite as long. So you don't have as much time to add spin and do all of your work with each hit. You've got to like intuitively be adding that English, adding some action to every single hit. And I'm sure that's even more important because of the addition of the aramid fibers. And I really think that's probably why Body Helix is pushing this towards more advanced players. Because if you're not adding that action, that English to every hit, every ball, in your short game, you're gonna be popping up and on your drives and on your serves, you're gonna be hitting them out. And so you really have to have some skill to like enjoy playing with this paddle. But of course you could add some of that included weight to the throat, but you'd be making a heavy paddle even heavier. So if you're already thinking you might do that, I would just look at the X3 Lite, like that's a great paddle. Anyway, I don't mean to be scaring anyone away from the X3 Pro. This is a really great paddle. Like it's got a super unique core setup. It's got this great handle. I love the look. The surface is top notch, like great touch and feel. Like if you're secure with your control game, like if you're adding top spin to everything, like this paddle is great, go for it. As for the price, I think $162 after that 10% discount using promo code Matthew K is actually pretty reasonable. I think it's competing with the Gearbox Pro paddles and those are like $100 more. And I think even though it's a little more expensive than Legacy's paddles, like it's got a way more unique core setup. And so I definitely think it's worth checking out. Anyway, I'll leave links to both the X3 Pro and the X3 Lite in the description. Don't forget to use that promo code Matthew K for a discount. Um, and yeah, I don't think you'll be disappointed. These are really, really great paddles. Like I'm super excited to see what Body Helix does next. Like 
they came into the marketplace and they're just destroying right now. Like they're doing some really cool stuff. So I, I'm really excited about it. Anyway, that's it. That's all I've got. Um, I'll leave some links and codes for some other cool paddles and paddle companies. Be sure to check those out. Using those helps me and helps the channel. I really do appreciate it. And also please like and subscribe. That helps me too. Like it, it's super helpful. So please do that if you can. But most importantly, I hope you get to pickle soon. And just don't forget, it's about having fun.